Hey, welcome back, folks. Just want to show you my 1948 three-jaw chuck. This is a six-inch chuck, which is on my 1944 South Bend 13. Just want to show you, like, if you take a little bit of time, you can get some amazing results with your three-jaw chuck. Check this out. We're about an inch and a half off the chuck. Let's get closer if we can. That's amazing, isn't it? So yeah, I have, I have a four jaw chuck, but just want to show you, like, we can get amazing results with a three jaw chuck. Here's a nice close up of it as I spin the chuck. Look at that. So. Taking the time to adjust your chuck is really important. Um, and there are some tricks, of course, that you can do in order to do that. So let's zoom back here. And uh, here, inside, when you unscrew your, um, your chuck from the back plate, there's a ridge that, uh, you know, that, that uh, your, your chuck indicates to. So basically, it centers itself on that. If you don't have enough movement back and forth, you can't really adjust how your chuck runs, you know, how, how accurate it runs. So what I did is I simply just shaved off a tiny bit. And because uh, I was pretty close before, I was within like 0.5, uh, you know, of 1,000. So uh, I did that and that allowed me to... Uh, make this perfect every time. Now, a perfect for me, of course. Now, there's other tricks that you need to account for. For example, all of your jaws should go in the same slots every time. They're usually marked, but sometimes they're not. Uh, something else is that I make sure that my chuck goes on the, you know, on the back plate at exactly the same place every time. So that, you know, this screw is here, that's number one, and then that, that lines up every time, right? Uh, and you can do the same thing on the inside. And uh, once you get this lined up, running as true as you can, uh, then mark them all. And you'll find they'll make a huge difference for you. So you don't have to reach for the four jaw chuck every single time, right? There are times where it's necessary, but like this now I'm up to like two tenths of one thousandths of an inch. That's pretty accurate. Uh, most people will be very satisfied with that. Okay, so let me show you this recess that I was telling you about. This is pretty tight. Uh, hate to do this because I've already got it down to uh, two tenths of one thousandths of an inch. But it's okay, I know I can do it again because I've got, you know, processes that I follow and it works every single time to bring back the, uh, the concentricity. So here you can see, that's my back plate. Let's let the back plate. And as you can see, you know, the back plate sits in here. So this, there's already crud in here. So you gotta make sure that's clean every single time. But this here is what I turned a few thousandths of an inch to give me some lateral clearance all around in any direction so that I can bring it back in to a concentric accuracy. So this is not complicated. You just take any altering tool. I just use some high-speed steel, it's very nice. This leaves a very nice finish and, um, and it's easy to do. Now, something else which is important to, to take note of is these bolt holes. Um, originally, when I got this, the bolt holes were not straight and they did not give me enough room to because they weren't straight number one that that didn't help at all uh because they were binding in the holes 
And secondly, uh, the, the diameter was not big enough to allow me to any kind of movement. So I took a reamer and just made them ever so slightly larger than what they were. And uh, that takes care of that. So essentially that's it, that's the trick. No, if your jaws have issues, well, there's, <laughs> there's some videos that are dedicated to that sort of thing. And, um, and then you should watch those. But if your jaws, you know, start with this, and then, you know, you might be surprised that you can get some great accuracy out of your three jaw chuck. And, uh, you know, I, I sought some uh, advice online. And, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, were very helpful. One gentleman in particular was really helpful, says, if you want uh, precision, get a four jaw chuck. And I thought, wow, that's enlightened. Um, so, uh, but the point is, is you can have an old three jaw chuck and still get great life out of it and great precision. So, you know, two tenths of one thousandths of an inch uh, in a three jaw chuck which is from 1948 is pretty good. And if I can do this, so can you. So go for it, give it a try, and uh, see just how precise you can get your three jaw chuck to be. So with that, I'll say my goodbyes. Thanks for watching and uh, take care everybody.